Welcome to Sergio's Structural Engineering channel. Today, I would like to show you how to design a rigid connection for a steel structure. For that reason, we are going to design or to verify a fillet welded connections between a beam and HEB according to European steel structure standard that is called Eurocode 3. Um, for that, also for that reason, we are going to use the what the code calls simplified method for design resistance on fillet weld. Okay, the methodology of uh, design you can find it in section four point five point three point three. Okay, and as I said, it is Eurocode three and part one of eight. Okay, a lovely, a lovely design code. Okay, as a reference. Um, before starting to develop the, the exercise, the practical example, we are going to make a little description of the, of the problem to be solved today. As you can see, we have a uh, rigid connection okay, um, between an HEB200 uh, as a column and a beam uh, with a steel shape uh, IPE330. Uh, both shapes in accordance with uh, European standards. Uh, also, both elements are defined as a steel grade uh, S355GO. Okay, and and also the dimensions for the web thickness and for the flanges thickness are indicated in the sketch. As we have mentioned before. As a rigid connection, the structure creates or generates against the connection a bending moment, this high bending moment, indicated with that B arrow uh, in color blue, uh, equal to 160 uh, 60, uh, km meters, and also acting against the, the connection. We have a vertical shear force indicated with that uh, green arrow uh, with a value of 140 kN. Okay? It is uh, before starting to make any any design connection. It is highly recommended to verify how the elements of the connection are stressed. Okay, so let's start to to verify. Okay. To check. To check the beam, in terms of stresses. Okay, we are not going to make it complicated. We are going to uh, assume an elastic behavior of the section. So, according to the mechanical properties of the IP330 resistant modulus, it's equal to 713 cubic centimeters. According to Navier's law, okay, we have the ultimate bending uh, capacity for a shape is equal to elastic modulus resistant multiplied by jail uh, limit of the steel factor with a, um, a value of 1.5 okay let's operate these values and let's see which is the ultimate bending capacity or which is the ultimate bending moment for the section okay we got it the ultimate bending moment for the section is 241 kN meters. As we can see here, ultimate bending capacity is bigger than design bending moment acting against the against the connection. Okay. Let's check uh, now uh, what about uh, shear. Okay. Or the plastic. Okay. According to uh, Eurocode, okay. Uh, any section, a double T section, uh, the shear is provided by the strength in, uh, in tangential uh, tangential stresses due to the area of the web. Okay, so we have tangent stresses. Okay, that is only to divide by uh, a square root of three, factor by the one point zero five. Okay. And the area of the web. So we are going to assume the height of the, the height of the double T, okay, and multiply by 7.5 thickness of the web. 
Let's evaluate the result. Okay, we got it. Let's see the plastic shear capacity of the web reached to a value of 483 kilonewtons. That is clearly bigger than the she designed uh, shear forces. Okay. Also, the codes um, uh, stated uh, stated that uh, there will be no reduction of the bending moment capacity if the design uh, shear forces is less than the half of the ultimate shear capacity of the section. Let's verify the statement. Okay. So we have here BED equal to 140 kilonewtons. This is clearly less than the half of the value. So we can conclude that there is no reduction, no reduction in bending capacity. As long as we have verified that at least the beam it is uh, is uh, the, the stresses are under the allowable limit specified by the code, then we can start to uh, design and to develop the connection. Need connection, but uh, first of all, uh, before uh, go deeply into the strength capacity of the fillet welds, it is also uh, very commendable. Uh, to uh, verify the uh, throat dimensions. There is a good practice rule said that the uh, thickness of the base to be welded should be, um, uh, should be balanced. Um, uh, that rules, that rule um, is uh, also indicated which are the uh, throats, uh, preliminary throats to be taken into account into design. Okay, so according to the rule, said that the minimum dimension of the throat should be ranged okay uh, between 0 0.4 thickness for example for the flange of the beam okay and and 0 0.4 thickness of the flange of the cone okay let's evaluate these values for our particular case okay 0 0.4 the flange of the beam is 11.5. Uh, the thickness of the flange, uh, the thickness of the th of the throat of the fillet is 4.6. Okay, and 0 0.4 multiplied by 15. This is the thickness, the flange of the column, is 6 millimeters. Okay, so for the flange, um, the throat, uh, fillet uh, throat dimension for the fillet welded is 8 is the minimum value uh, is achieved okay but there is also a upper limit boundary that uh, said that the maximum dimension for the throat should not be bigger than zero point uh, thickness of the flange of the beam or thickness of the flange of the column let's evaluate these both values so point eight 11.5 for the beam is 8 0 0.5 millimeters okay 0 0.7 multiplied by 15 is 10.5 millimeters so um, in terms of the geometrical dimension of the throat for the flange we can say that uh, 8 millimeter is a properly value for those good practice rules Okay, the minimum and the maximum throat. Okay. Also, before entering into the strength capacity of the fillet welds, it's important to highlight that European standards understand understood that throat dimension is this height of the triangle, okay? It was supposed that the fillet welded is as a shape like this, okay? So, 
the value of the throat that is called A, okay, is the height of the of the minimum triangle that can be enclosed inside a section of the of the throat. Okay. Section of the throat. And of course, this is going to be the value that we are going to use in the coming calculations. Okay. Throat. Okay. Um, just as a reference, just as an information, okay. American standards, instead of using this value, they define the throat um, by this dimension, okay? That is called the leg. The leg of the fillet welded. Now we are going to enter to design um, the fillet welded, okay? Um, let's start with a um, free body diagram. Okay, better to use black. Here I represent the flange of the column, the flange, the upper flange of the beam, and the bottom flange of the beam. Remember that we have acting against the connection a moment. And a shear force, vertical shear force. Oops, let's make it in green. Okay. okay. Um, bending moment generates tension forces, tension forces in the upper flange, and compression forces on the bottom flange. Tension forces are going to be to be called TED. Okay. Um, um, the way to obtain that force is applied in the upper flange is that way. It's that way. TED. It is same as the compression action in the flanges, and is equal to design bending moment divided by an arm called Z. Z is the height of the the height of the steel shape minus thickness of the flange of the beam. Let's find the value of the tension acting uh, over the upper flange. Okay? So is uh, 160 divided by divided by 330 minus 11.5 let's evaluate the number We are talking about tension force apply at the flanges equal to 502 kilonewton. Okay. Okay. So as we know that TED rise to 502 kilonewton, let's see what is the capacity of the end fillet welded of the flanges. Okay. So according to according to Eurocot capacity, ultimate capacity of the welded, the fillet welded, follows this equation. Okay, 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 let's explain uh, and deduct uh, each of the values. FVWRD is the stress provided by the fillet welded. Okay, according to the code, part one of eight, the following equation shall be followed. Okay, 
the stress, uh, the ultimate stress of the filled world is the ultimate uh, tension, ultimate tension value or stress of the steel rate that is for the steel rate S355 is a value of 470 megapascals. So we put it here, divided by the square root of three, okay? Uh, for the connections, the safety factor is equal to 1.25, and this is a correlation factor that is uh, associated with a uh, steel grade. Okay, that is also uh, indicated, listed in a table in the in the in the code. For this case, for uh, steel grade 355, the value is equal to 0 0.9. Okay, so let's let's do it. The stress provided by the fillet weld is 240. Okay, so we'll keep on to completing the, the capacity in terms of force for the weld. We have like a 240 megapascals. Okay, uh, the dimension of the throat is indicated in green, that is 8 millimeters. Okay, we are going to assume that the flanges are all effective it is true that the below the below side of the flange is interrupted by the the connection with the web but in a practical way we are going to assume that the both sides of the fillet are the same so we are going to put here the length of the fillet is the same length of the width uh, of the ip330 that is uh, 160 and of course two times the welded below and under okay let's evaluate so the capacity of the n fillet weld is equal to 617.48 kilonewtons uh, value bigger than the design uh, tension produced by the bending moment that was 502 kilonewtons. So verifies. Verifies. It's fine. It's okay. Let's do the same exercise uh, with uh, shear forces. Okay. The shear forces uh, must be car carry on or carry out by the I indicated here with uh, with a pencil only with these fillet welds the one indicated with red okay so let's let's evaluate once again the capacity for the fillet welds sorry for the fillet welds in the web okay we are going to use the same stress 240 same as the as the one indicated uh, below for the flange okay and we are going to have the thickness it is um, four millimeters of thickness okay the height is going to be um, in a practical way all the height of the of the shape less two times the thickness of the flange okay and multiply by two because there are two fillet welded at both sides of the beam web. Okay, 240. Let's operate with my HEP. My calculations are right, that they are supposed to be. The capacity for the vertical fillet walls uh, rise to a value of 589 kilonewtons. That is clearly bigger, clearly bigger than the design uh, shear force equal to 140 kilonewtons. Okay. 
So that's the end of the exercise. Uh, we have summarized a little bit how we can approach to the um, well, how we can solve a rigid connection, a welded rigid connection between two uh, steel uh, steel shapes according to European European design code, European standards. And um, as you can see, it's a it's a methodology simple to be used. Simple to be used is very is you know is you can follow them uh, without any any issue. So uh, well, this is the end of a new um, a practical example to be developed in this channel. Um, if you have any doubt, if you have any any commentary, please uh, use the uh, the tools below the the video. I have no objection to to hear for you any um, any proposal, any doubt. Um, and I would like also to say that the information that is uh, all has been developed during this video is going to be shared in my LinkedIn uh, profile also, so you can have the explanation for directly in this video in YouTube. But also you can have the like a background or these uh, little uh, uh, numbers of the development of the exercise. Also you can have it in in PDF. So, okay, it is uh, it is time to go. Okay, so. Uh, Happy to, to hear from you. Bye-bye. Take care.